I think if we could grab onto some of these key aspects of what we're trying to do, which is improve transportation by reducing its major impacts, then I think we'll be able to act in a wiser way. Too often we think of vehicles are vehicles. No, it's vehicles and fuels. Your vehicle doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have energy fed into it. And you know that, and I know that. But we never actually talk about that. It's time we took that, obviously, more carefully. If we want to have an impact, we've got three choices. The first one is we can improve the technologies that we're now using widely. And transportation is special in its energy needs in that the propulsion systems are almost all internal combustion engines today. And they fit what we want remarkably well, except that their impacts are very unattractive, and we've got to change those impacts. And the second key word is conserving, and by that we mean uh, reducing, if you like, the use of vehicles, possibly using them in more energy efficient and less emitting ways. So conserve is there. And then transform is the path that most of the media want to hear about. Because it's new, it's potentially exciting, it really might change things. That's much more interesting than fixing gasoline engines. The challenge is that very few of us can focus on three things at once. And so what we think will have happened over the next, say, uh, 35 years is that internal combustion engine-based propulsion systems will drop from 90% to something like 50 60%, and that a sizable fraction of them will be turbocharged gasoline engines because they're significantly more efficient than a vehicle. And then the hybrids are going to be next, and electricity will really grow through plug-in hybrids, and the other stuff is slow to go because it's very difficult both to change this bigger part of the vehicle technology and the energy supply and infrastructure for that technology. That question, though, brings in something that we've tried hard to uh, really explain and, and make good judgments about, which is the weightings. I mean, I've got something that improves the fuel economy by, I take fuel consumption, fuel consumption by 20%, but I only use it 25%, I can only use it and get that benefit 25% of the time. So now 25% of 20% is 5%. So my benefit is 5%. And we just not, people are just not at all good mentally of automatically putting in the relevant and important weighting factors because, you know, not every vehicle is going to have all the possible technology improvements on it uh, every year from now out to 2050.